Mm -hmm. Welcome to Romania, everyone. Oh, is that it? Boy, do we have the story for you. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Krakow. We have got a long travel day ahead of us today. We've got two flights to catch. This is the current situation. We are, we are leaving all pack into the last minute again. Um, okay, works out better that way. Just trying to get things cleaned up in here as well. Yeah, that's the current situation. Probably not going to pick up the camera while we're doing this, so we will just skip to when we are leaving. Okay, guys, it is time to say goodbye to our little apartment home in Krakow city centre. It's bittersweet, it's sad that we're leaving, but we're also really, really excited. Yeah, it's nice to not have to be in the same place anymore because we've been here for a month now, which is yeah. a long time. Um, and we've never been to Romania either, so we're really excited. Yeah, and the weather's supposed to be a little bit nicer, especially in the place that we're going in four days. Which we so will tell you eventually. Stay tuned for that. Before we leave, we just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has joined since we came to Poland, first of all. Yeah. It's been a massive support and we really appreciate all the comments because we love replying to you down in the comments so we love reading the comments. Yeah, and we hope you guys follow us to Romania and to all the other other countries we're going to see next year. Yeah, so if there is somewhere you want to see us go, just leave it in the comments and we'll try and get there next year. Fingers crossed. Goodbye, Krakow. <laughs> the girl in front of me had her boots on and she had to take her boots off and then put her boots through the thing so everyone was just waiting for her. It's 10.45 now so we've got... It's not that long. Hour and a half? Yeah. Hour, hour till the gate closes, hour and a half till the flight leaves. So let's just find somewhere to chill out for a bit, is it? Yeah. I had a bit of a delay, like a half hour delay, but um, they're going through now, so we just wait then. So just sitting down instead of standing in the queue? Yeah, priority <laughs> goes first, and then obviously non priority, so we're just waiting for the queue to go down a bit really to get up. Um, but our plane's there now, as you can see. Um, and then we've got an hour and 45 minutes. And unfortunately, we sit on the opposite side of the plane. I'm in the back, Ashley's in the front. I'm in 7B, and, and Kelsey's in 33D. I'm really at the back of the plane. It's like the last row. Well, who knows, maybe we'll be able to sit by each other, but this looks like a very busy flight, so I don't think so. Yeah, I think it's full. But we've um, we've got bags that are too big, so we're fingers crossed that they don't check, but they've got the thing out, but we'll, we'll see now. It worked when we went, when we got to Poland, so we're hoping it's gonna work this time. Yeah. Fingers crossed. And we're just gonna be last, so hopefully, because be like, oh, of the delay should... as well, they'll just be like, check it off. So we're just in the flight connections bit now. This is the first time we've taken a connecting flight. Um, so we don't really know what to do. Yeah, so on the, we'll... Oh, is that it? Okay, we are just sitting. Got a lovely view. Down in like one of the corners. We've got a view of the runway here. Plane coming in already. But that's some of like the sexiest scenery I've ever seen on a plane. <laughs> Um, fly, we were flying like, I don't know if it was like, uh, like southern Austria or like just northern Italy, maybe like the Dolomites or something, but it was all snow-capped mountains. It was really pretty. Really I could only good. see a little bit from where I was sitting. It was really, really good. But first of all, I got on the plane. I was meant to be in the middle seat. Uh, there was a girl on my left, but then the aisle seat was free, so I was like, oh, moved into the, like, the aisle seat, so I had like the end. And the whole row then to my right was empty as well. 
I did text Cassie, but she'd already turned to airplane mode on. I know, I didn't have any signal when I got on the plane, so I saw I'll just turn on airplane mode. And then when we landed here, turned it on, I was like, oh no. So like, we were coming through over the mountains, the snow capped mountains, and then the next thing, he just nose dived, like straight into the clouds. And I was just like, how do you know there's no mountains there? And then it was well weird. <laughs> But, um, Coming through was so easy though, like we had, we've never been on a connected flight before so we didn't really know how it worked, how it was going. So when we arrived I said Schengen arrivals which is great because you don't need to show any passports or anything, it's just nice easy. And then there was just exit. next, just next, yeah, yeah. exit and then there was connected flights, so we were like well I guess we go for there. Went for there, went up an escalator and we're just here. In departures. We're just in departures, done, easy. It's really easy, really straightforward, it was good. Um, so we've got plenty of time now, even with the delay, we've still got a couple of hours. Yeah, we've got about two, two so we're gonna, a bit. We're going to get some food mm -hmm. and then we're going to find somewhere to charge my phone, because my phone battery's quite low. Just chill out for a bit, I guess. Yeah, and then catch a flight from Paris. Yeah. I'm really excited. We were looking for somewhere to eat, there's a couple of options, but we ended up coming to McDonald's. Now they had a little bit of a different menu to back home, so we ended up getting this tasty, tasty bucket. bucket, two medium fries and two drinks each. We right don't here, really know what's inside. There's six chicken nuggets and then there's four of these. Only they're filled with like tomato and mozzarella. And, and, mozzarella. and then these, I have no idea. Again. Are like cheesy bites, we think. Is That's it? what it looked like, yeah. So, should we just go for it? Okay, I'm going to try one of these. I'm not sure what they're called. Oh, it's cheesy. Come on, there's like ham in there. Oh, it's like cheese and bacon. Like a cheese and bacon bite. Yeah, but it's like ham. I think it's ham. They're quite nice. Mmm. Mmm, they're good. I like we've them. We've got nine of them. This is great. They're good. What about these? They have a really hot pan, yeah. pan or something. Okay, we're going to wait a little bit for these to cool down. Right, we're going to give uh, this thing a go. I'm not sure what it is. I was say, oh. But it's like a little bit doughy. It's like, it's good, it's got, it looks like a, a mini pasty. It back home. Oh. <gasps> it's like a pizza. Oh my god, it's a pizza bite. Oh my god, it's the best thing ever. Oh my god, that is so tasty. Why don't they do these back home? These are class. You've got to like melt in your mouth. Oh my god. Mm. I wish we got a bucket of those. I wish it was all these. Mm. But I knew what it was, I would just got these. That's oh my so god, good. they are amazing. Oh, trust Italy to a pizza in McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Wow. They're class. This bucket is best the way forward. Ever. Best bucket Tasty bucket. And it comes with three sauces, um, all the stuff in here, and then we've just got chips on the side. That's class. I'm well impressed. Me too. <laughs> Enjoying the little things. <laughs> okay, we're just heading to our gate now. Um, we're on the other side of the airport, all the way down there. B1. Um, we don't know how long we've got. Our flight doesn't leave for another... Oh, it's boarding now. Half hour. Was it? Yeah. Oh, we're boarding. We probably should hurry up. Okay, we are getting on the plane now. Again. You have to buy these masks yeah, for some apparently... reason. Apparently they're mandatory in... I don't know whether it's Italy or like Milan, but probably Italy altogether. So to buy these masks, which was like three euro fifty each, just to get on the plane. Nobody said anything in the airport. Yeah, it's a bit dumb to be fair. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to split up again. Cass is in the front this time and I'm in the back. Yep, we swapped. Welcome to Romania, everyone. We made it. We didn't think we'd make it, but we made it. And boy, do we have the story for you. Um, oh. 
but we're gonna wait till we get back to the Airbnb. It is very late, a lot later than we expected. So yeah, get the Airbnb. Yeah. We'll give you a story time. But for now we need to get an Uber and we need to get down into the city because we're just a bit north from the city. Um, so we're just south from the city centre as well, the Airbnb. So we've got a little bit of an Uber ride, but hopefully we won't get there too late. And luckily we've got some food in our bags left over, which we will be munching on. Demolishing. Yes, yes, yes. Bye. Bye. Oh, you. Nice and cozy. This is lovely. Well, we're gonna do a bit of a tour probably another day. I feel like it won't be a full just... video, it'll just be a, a bit of a tour. Right, let's get into the story. Right, okay, don't know where to start. So I think we left off in the airport. We had to buy a certain type of mask to get on the plane. Um, so we done that, that was fine. Then there was a bit of a queue to get on the plane because there was the other cabin crew was getting off still. Um, so they kind of just let everyone stand on the runway for about 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes before even letting people get on the plane. So we got on the plane, everything seemed fine. Everyone was... For you, maybe. Oh yeah, not for you. So... For me, everything was. I got on and there was someone in my seat. I just chucked my bag in one of the overhead cabins. I just said, oh, there's someone in my seat. I'm in 32F. And he... Basically, there was a, a disabled guy who was on the flight, but they had to bring him through the back and they just put him there instead of taking him all the way down to row two. I said, yeah, no worries, that's fine. I was like, do you want me to go to row two? Uh, and he was like, no, no, that's fine. I'll just find you an empty seat. Basically, he walked me to this row and it was a full row. So I was like, oh, I landed, got a full row to myself. So I sat down and then a family were coming up, a family of three were coming up the plane. So I was like, oh, it's got to be for them. I got up and yeah, sure enough, it was for them. So I said to the air steward, I'll just wait for everyone to sit down and then I'll just find a spare seat. So that was all fine. Ended up sitting like halfway down the plane. 10 minutes later. The captain was like, oh, uh, it's gonna take about an hour and 50 minutes to get there. Hope you'll have a lovely flight, blah, blah, blah. And then it was about 10 minutes and he was like, oh, uh, there's a little bit of a problem. Um, we gotta bring the engineer on, um, but it should be sorted really quickly. So we waited quite a while for the engineer. It was about 20 minutes for the engineer to come on. The engineer came on and then he, the captain was like, oh, we're gonna have to turn the plane off and then sort of reboot it and the problem should be solved. So the lights went off. They rebooted. The engineer left at this point. He, he'd like fixed the problem and then he'd left. And then... So he's like, yeah, not a problem. Everything sorted. That was about an hour, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so then he turned the engine on, went to go again. The computer failed again. So they had to call the engineer back out and he took another like 15, 20 minutes yeah. to get there. In this time, some people had been like questioning the air hostesses and stewards and... Uh, one guy, like, a few rows behind me, was, like, proper kicking off. And I don't know what he was saying, because he was in Italian, but he was getting a bit aggressive. Um, so, in this time, the air hostess was running down the aisle saying she was going to phone the police. It was all a little bit of drama. People were getting a bit agitated. People were questioning and shoved in and it wasn't really that all that bad apart from this one guy obviously we had to wait for the police to come so that was another half hour the police came there was a bit of back and forth between the police and this guy and in the end i think the guy got taken off you probably seen that yeah the guy the got front. taken off and then they were like oh we're gonna have to take him all off the plane now there's a shuttle bus waiting for you so we're gonna all take you off the plane just for your safety and then we'll bring you back on so they just turned the computer off and used the backup computer, uh, the captain said. So everyone got told to sit back down, so everyone sat back down. And in this time, three or four people had decided that they wanted to get off anyway. So they had to get their cases off. And then they decided that one guy decided that he wanted to come back on, so they had to put the case back on. So by the time they actually found their cases, taken their uh, 
um, handling it off and stuff and got them off the plane. Uh, it was about two and a half hours later before yeah. we actually left. So it's yeah. It's been a long travel day and I think it was only in Milan. We were saying how much of a smooth travel day we were having. Yeah, and to make it worse, we had some really bad turbulence as the flight was taken off. So you've got the, the thought of the computer not being working and then you've got like some really bad turbulence and then also on the way back down, we had some really bad turbulence. Um, but so we yeah, made it. Yeah, we're here. But it was a bit of a crazy... Uh, fl- Could have been worse. It was a bit, a bit of a crazy travel day. But anyway, we are going to get some rest, get some sleep in, and we will be out and about in progress. Oh, actually, no. Then we got to the airport. So we found our Uber, we jumped in, and we're off. They drive like maniacs. He was doing 130 kilometers an hour in a 70, overtaking, undertaking, just cutting people up, which was absolutely nuts. And then... <laughs> There was other cars doing it the same. Everyone was cutting each other up, cutting lanes up. Um, and whenever you got to a red light, it was like a race. It was like a, there was a drag race at one point. Four lanes, uh, uh, some Audi just blitzed everyone, but every, like all cars were trying. I don't know, clear what was going on. It was absolutely crazy. But we also seen, we also drove through Bucharest, so we've seen a bit of it, and it looks amazing. Yeah, the, the amount of effort they've put into like the Christmas lights and stuff is insane. It's, yeah. Um, and all the buildings, some of the buildings look really, really cool. Um, so we can't wait to get out and check it out tomorrow. But really for excited. now, we are going to end it here and we'll pick it up in the morning.